So right now I'm just hiking along Goose River. There's not any cell phone reception to speak of here. Every so often it blips in and out and I'll get a reply to a text that I sent hours ago. <laughs> but other than that, it's, uh, it's pretty well. We're all out here by ourselves and we're really enjoying it. So why don't you come with me for a few minutes and enjoy the hike. A lot of people ask me about the name the practical escapist what it means and my answer to that is it's kind of everything a lot of people hear the word escapist and they draw a negative connotation to it because it usually means running away from your problems the practical escapist isn't like that for me the practical escapist means finding how you want to feel and pursuing that instead of trying to escape how you don't want to feel. Escapism doesn't have to be a bad thing. It doesn't have to be something that means running away from your problems. It can mean just finding the good things in life and pursuing them more and using every little bit of what makes you you. Before, I used to keep all little all the little things I did separate. I would have different different handles for things. I would put everything under a different kind of umbrella. I would start new projects and they would be their own thing. And I thought, that doesn't make any sense. All of it's me. Why don't we put it that way? So that's what I did. These retreats that I take, I take them two times a year. I started taking them about almost four years ago, uh, the year that I went back to work after having my daughter. And I just found that I was getting so overwhelmed so constantly and I, I couldn't stop to think about things because I was always on the go. Uh, even though I was working part time, it was still a lot. And on top of parenting and on top of trying to pursue creative stuff, I just didn't have enough time to stop and think about who I am and what I want out of life. And so I started camping. It started off one day and then it moved up to two. And it started off one time a year and it moved up to two as well. And the more I do them, the more I actually get to stop and breathe and uh, realize who I am again. At this stage in my life, it's not really feasible for me to go on long trips or anything. And it's not always possible or affordable to go very far away. So right now, I'm sticking close to my roots and doing Fundy National Park with the hope that one day I can go a little further. But really i'm still discovering new things about this place so it makes sense to keep going for now doesn't it i find that with a lot of the problems i have in life i just don't have the time to sit down and think about how to solve them i'm a pretty decent problem solver if you ask me but i don't really get the opportunity to figure those things out and then once problem after problem stacks up and i start to get overwhelmed that's when i start to feel like I need to run away and so these retreats help me to fix that and to sort out my problems and also to change perspective on a lot of my problems which may not even be problems in the first place. It seems difficult to feel like your problems, your day-to-day -day problems, your work problems, your personal problems are that big when you're faced with this much vastness. I mean, there are some problems that are definitely, definitely, absolutely too big to conquer without some kind of intervention, but sometimes a change of perspective can be really helpful.